left and it's a fair. Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in this video, as you can see by the title, today I'm going to be giving you guys a three month, I believe, three, four month update on this headband wig. And I'm also going to be showing you guys some hairstyles that you can do with this wig. I want to give you guys a update on this wig and how it's holding up. Real quick, my hair underneath, it's not braided or anything. It's not really flat. So you might see like a little bump or whatever for my hair that's underneath this wig but just ignore that again this is actually a synthetic headband wig so it's pretty it's holding up pretty nicely for it to be one a synthetic wig and then for it to be like three months later i haven't been wearing this wig every day though if you want to wear it like as an everyday wig i don't know about that but i think i've worn this wig like i think this is like my fourth time pulling out this wig and putting it on it does get a little bit tangled here and there uh, i haven't combed through it or brushed through it yet at all so I wanted to wait to do that on camera but as you can see it's not crazy tangled but it's the brush and the comb whatever gets through it so it's not crazy uh tangled it's not bad you know for it to be on its third month me having it another thing i loved about this wig is how the headband is the headband is like this really stretchy elastic part up here i don't know if this headband wig is available or not I am going to leave a link down below for this wig and if I can't find it I'll try to find a similar one that has good reviews. I will still leave this link for the wig if it's not available and then just leave a similar wig also because it could go back in stock. I don't know. You kind of never know with Amazon when their stuff will be back in stock. But it still has like nice curls to it. It still is nice and bouncy. It is body wave. Today I'm going to be trying some hairstyles out like I said earlier. Because I have not tried any hairstyles on this wig. I tried it on the curly one, but I didn't try any other hairstyles on this wig except for having it down. The Velcro is not broken on the wig either, so that's a good thing. This is about how much shedding I got from just combing through the hair right now. This is how much shedding I have, which is not really a lot at all. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? Kind of. This is really not a lot. Um, it's a good amount. So yes, um, again, I'm going to be giving this wig a 10 out of 10. I'm pretty sure I said that in the first video I did, but this wig is getting a 10 out of 10 even three months later. Other than that, we can go ahead and move on to the hairstyles. If you have any more questions about the wig, you can leave them down in the comments down below. I don't know what else to really talk about. Just it's not shedding, it's really nice, still 10 out of 10 three months later. So we can go ahead and now move on to the hairstyles. So for the first hairstyle I have is just wearing the hair out and down. Um, I already combed through it earlier in the beginning so it's already uh, tangle free. But this is the first hairstyle, just having it down and out. For the next hairstyle I have, I'm just going to throw a scarf on top. I've seen a lot of hairstyles where people either like tie this on as a headband or just wear it like a scarf like this. Um, but I think this is cute. I got this scarf from Shein, if you're wondering. And just tie it on and boom. That's the second hairstyle. For the third hairstyle, I'm doing a half up, half down. This one was a little bit hard to do because my hair, or like the headband wig, was not fully attached correctly to my head. So it kept sliding back and it was a little hard to do the half up part. Um, but yeah, I took some hair from the front and I kind of just, I tried to make it as even as possible and I parted it and I pulled it up into a ponytail and left the rest out. I did comb through the bottom portion as well and this is what that looks like half up, half down. I feel like with this hairstyle, I could have used a little bit more volume to it, but it still looked good and you know, this is how it looked for the third hairstyle. Next hairstyle I did was just a ponytail. I was going for like a mid to high ponytail here and I'm using a different headband. This one's a little bit thicker so I decided to put that one on. As for the ponytail, it was a little bit like to the side and kind of crooked but I fixed it a little bit later but this is how it looks once I finished. Um, it is kind of, it's still a little bit to the side but it's not as bad as it was before. But that's all for this hairstyle. For the next hairstyle, I'm going to be trying a swoop bang, or I'm going to be doing a swoop bang. So I first started off by taking some hair like on the opposite side of where I want my bang and I kind of messed up on this part. I'm going to like redo it here, but I'm just taking like a nice chunk of hair and putting it over my ear to see how much more I need. So once I got a good enough piece of hair, I am using that piece and I'm pulling it over my forehead and you know, doing how you normally would with like a swoop bang with your normal hair. Um, I also have that headband on my neck. You want to keep that on the neck just to 
pull it over a little bit easier because if you have to like pull it all the way over your head that's gonna mess up the uh bang so i pulled that up and i needed the headband obviously so that i could like hide the part where i pulled the hair out from if that makes sense and yeah i'm just like kind of trying to hide that hair um like the root of the hair of where i pulled that piece out to make this swoop bang i hope this is making sense but I went ahead and did that and this is how it looks. It turned out pretty okay. I'm brushing through the hair again because it got a little bit tangled and this is what the fifth hairstyle looks like. Now for the last hairstyle, I went ahead and took out the swoop bang and I'm gonna be adding two pieces of hair to the front. I am still keeping that same headband also, but I'm taking two pieces of hair from the front and I'm putting them underneath the headband so that they can stay in place. And for the rest of my hair, I'm pulling them both into two ponytails. Um, I went ahead and also brushed the hair out to make sure I didn't have any tangles, but I'm pulling them into two like pigtail ponytails. Um, and yeah, I like adding the two pieces of hair in the front just so that it's not a simple little two ponytails. But that's all for this video. Hope you guys liked the video and all the hairstyles I showed. And if you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more content and more videos from me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!